forced to have to use their own personal time to cover something that wasn't their fault. And teachers are outraged after an ongoing mold issue across schools in Alamance Burlington school system forced the district to push back the start of the school year once again. And that decision this time affecting their vacation days. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Madison Forsey. The district announced yesterday educators will need to use two of their 10 annual leave days this week while schools remain closed for mold remediation. The district says that those vacation days must be used on Tuesday and Wednesday due to the North Carolina Department of Public Instructions requirement that school calendars must adhere to specific rules. School systems are required to start no earlier than the Monday closest to August 26th and end no later than the Friday closest to June 11th. Between that time, students must have a minimum of 1,025 hours of instruction and teachers must work 215 days. It's such a tight situation that we work within and the confines of the way the state legislature has uh, has required schools to work in. Like I said, we still have to get those 1,025 hours. So teachers are going to have to work. Students are going to have to be in, in the classrooms for 1,025 hours, no matter what, however we work the days out. And the district says they had to make this decision fast, but will be sending out a feedback form to teachers this upcoming Tuesday before scheduling any more required teacher vacation days.